Hey guys, this video is going to be primarily on should you get your education or your university undergrad degree or not, and um, what major is probably best for you. And so this video is going to be a little long, so bear with me, but I'm going to try to go over, over everything. First, I want to have a disclaimer saying that school's not for everyone. You really need to understand that. It doesn't mean you're smarter if you have a degree. I've seen people who have no degree. I mean, look at Bill Gates, for example. Freaking genius, and he doesn't even have a PhD. I mean, it does not show you your intelligence, okay? And you can be successful without school. However, a degree can get your foot in the door. So I want to have that as a disclaimer. And I'm going to tell you, should you get your degree or not? And my answer to that is, it depends on where you are in your life, okay? If you got a wife and kids and a full-time job, and that job pays enough to support y'all, and you can move up in that job, and you're very ambitious, and you know you can work hard to move up in the company, I'd say no. And the reason being is school is very time-consuming. School is not easy. Every major, I don't care if it's a business management degree or you get an engineering degree, every major is hard and every major you're going to have to study. There's fundamentals to each major that I like to call ignorance. I have a friend that is majoring in engineering and says, why are you getting a financial degree? Um, finance isn't important. And I go, bitch, you think your degree's easier than mine? Finance is Wall Street stuff. The world is run by money. The housing crash in 2008 is because banks put value or shit level value, B value bonds, junk bonds and triple A bonds and crash the whole economy. That's all finance. Everything is about the management of money. You got your, um, you know, your, you know, you got your interest, your principal. It's all important. And time value of money is so essential to any corporation or business. And unfortunately, people don't understand that this kind of stuff is what to make the world go around. Everything is about money. And that's the sad truth. And so financial degree is very significant. It focuses on the future and while counting focuses on the past. And if you really know what you're studying and you really have a passion for it, that degree is no easier than another degree. It's called ignorance. So be proud of what you're getting your degree in and stand up for it. If you're a marketing major, don't let the engineers or medical majors tell you that it's a shit degree. Tell them, I bet you, you do not know the number one thing that you wanna do in marketing is to provide customer satisfaction. Tell them about your degree till you bore them to death. Have pride in what you're learning. Let's continue. So if school is very hard, it requires studying no matter what major you're in. If you're going to be in the back of the class on your phone, a laptop, or your headphones in, I suggest you don't take school. Time is money, and school requires a lot of time and a lot of money. So really consider that. <clears throat> and you can become very successful without an undergrad degree. However, an undergrad degree does sometimes get your foot in the door compared to having no education. But a lot of times a very hardworking, ambitious person can become just as successful as somebody who doesn't have any education, higher education at all. So if if you have a job that pays, let's say, 50, 40K a year, and you're able to somewhat support your family, and you know you can work up, and you're very hardworking and ambitious, and you're looking at other jobs that pay for more, I don't consider you going to school. One, you can't afford school, because at that income, you need to take care of your children and your wife and all your insurance, like health insurance, car insurance, etc. And two, school takes a lot of time. And three, you know, time is money and you could just be moving up in your career and having a family is going to be different, difficult focusing on your education. I have a friend that makes 80K a year in commission and uh, car sales. Um, he does willow weed on the side, but hey, he never went to any uh, education or school and I would say he's just as smart as me. Um, it really is just your intuition and your gut on how you feel about getting an education. Now let's continue to the next part. Um, what should you major in if you decide to go to university? And I'm saying university because in the United Kingdom, university is equivalent to our college. It's an undergrad degree. If you say college, uh, 
to people in the UK, it's equivalent to our high school. So I'm just trying to be a little bit, uh, make sense. So <clears throat> I, I almost graduated with a undergrad in cybersecurity. I was one semester off. So yeah, I learned, I learned Python and Java programming and network security and telecommunications. And I don't regret learning all that. It's very valuable. And I can use it in my, uh, my career and even in finance. The problem with it is, is that I was not passionate about what I was learning. And if you're not passionate and really love the subject you're learning, you're going to hate studying. You're going to, and if you don't like what you're learning, there's no way that you're going to be successful in a job. As someone as communicative as me, I could not sit my, see myself sitting at a desk programming for eight hours a day or monitoring some kind of viral software or I meant viral protection software and protecting against malware all day long. I couldn't see myself doing that. Now, seeing me working on like a company like Goldman Sachs or JP Morgan and being up there in the financial as a financial administrator or analyst, you bet your ass I could see myself doing that. And I love what I'm learning. So that's I switched my major. I was a semester off, 15 credit hours. You need 120 20 for an undergrad in most colleges. And um, you know, programming took a lot of time and effort and was very difficult for me because it wasn't something I was naturally good at. It was fun. I actually, and I'm proud that I know programming and I can understand the language when looking at a program. That's important, but it was not for me. I wouldn't want to do it as a career. I chose cybersecurity because there's a lot of money in that field. Computer science, you can start 100K figures, but if you don't enjoy what you're learning, you ain't going to be get paid shit because you ain't going to be good at it. You know, um, if you really love what you're learning and you're good at it and you're ambitious and you're excited, you're most likely to become way more successful. So I switched to my financial degree and I absolutely love it. And I have a year till graduation. It set me back a year, but I was also a year ahead because I take summer classes and I was ahead already. So it wasn't that big of a deal, but I did lose thousands of dollars worth of classes. But I'm very thankful that my dad pays for that. And he was very considerate on me changing my degree. So <clears throat> my suggestion is do something you really love. You want to take all your core, uh, not your core, excuse me, all your basics. When I mean basics, an undergrad degree, it, it consists of two years of basically you need to have two sciences, two social studies, two political classes, two mathematic classes, two history classes, basically all your basics. And that's what an undergrad is. Only two years of your undergrad to a year and a half is going to be actually your specialized field. And so you want to get your two sciences in, your two social studies in, your two polit political classes, your two, your communication classes, your what is it, Ag um, anthropology classes, anything that's required for your degree as a basic that does not go towards a major, get done first. And that way you're going to be taking classes on all these broad specific subjects. So you're going to be having uh, information in anthropology, you're going to have information in history, information in mathematics, information in science, and you can really kind of see, or information in business, I think they make you Everyone has to take some kind of economics or financial class. So you are getting all these pieces of what you could major in. After you've taken all your basics, you need to sit down and think, what do I want to do with my life? And you need to do research. You need to, I hate to say this, but a lot of movies to kind of show real life stuff in an exaggerated sense. And um, a lot of it is fake, but it shows the subject. You know, if you look at House. House is a show that has a doctor that's very successful and has to deal with patients and sometimes he's not always right and sometimes he's on point and he has to prove all the doctors wrong. If you're going in medical field, that may be really interesting. If you're like me and a financial major, you may want to watch the movie The Big Short because it's a fantastic movie and it basically has everything to do with finance. So, you know, do your research, watch some documentaries, uh, look up YouTube videos on certain majors and really understand what you want to do. If you're interested in cybersecurity, you can, I have a video on my channel that you can look at. I was a, I honestly could go back and take one more semester and have my cybersecurity degree, 
but I don't want to do that with my life. It would just look extra good on my resume, which I may do part time. I guess I could get that degree while um while working. But basically, um, you need to do your research after your basics and then decide. And don't get discouraged if you have to change your major. Changing your major twice, pretty good. That's fine. Changing your major three to four times, you just don't know what you're doing with your life. I suggest you get a really broad degree like business administration or um, a history, a very broad history, something that's a very broad degree. Don't worry about the money. Don't go into a major for the money like I did. That was a mistake. Do what you love because you're going to be good at it. And being good at it is going to what's going to make you stand out in that workforce with that subject. Okay, and that's that's what's important. And um, I hope I didn't just blab on and I really was on point with this. Um, you don't need to have a college degree to be successful. That's number one thing. It depends on the timing in your life. You may already be so successful that going back and getting your degree is is just a waste of time and money. Like my father. My father never got his degree and is a millionaire now. It was a different time back in the day, but he's just worked really hard. Um, and uh, that just, it worked out for him. If you're really hardworking, you can move up in life. You know, um, having ambition, whether you have a degree or not, and knowing what you're worth and what you can bring to the table creating a very solid resume that shows all your strengths and experience even if it's just volunteer experience or just saying you have good hygiene is important to a company or you're in good health you're not this super overweight person all these things are important and you need to show a company what you can bring to the table whether you have a degree or not however if you're interested in getting a degree highly recommend getting your basics done perhaps doing some research or even taking a year off of school and then going back and completing your major courses because you need to really enjoy what you're studying. That is very prime, especially since school is very hard and to make successful grades, you do need to study. So I hope this really helped y'all out. And if you're interested on knowing more about my degree and a financial degree, I am totally cool on doing a video on that. I really love what I'm learning and I want to do this in a career. Um, finance focuses more on the future and accounting focuses more on the past and I definitely like the financial aspect of business. It's great and it's what make the world makes the world go round is money. So thank you so much for watching. If you really enjoyed this video you can go ahead and subscribe to my channels to see when I post new videos. If um, if you're not interested in that, you can just give this a thumbs up and go about your day. But I love comments, so comment what you thought about this video. And thank you so much for watching, you guys.